right click new java project project name me java the hut <laughs> have to have some fun here use an execute environment environment java se standard edition 1.8 that's where i said in the previous video java 8 is 1.8 <clears throat> sorry my voice a little <clears throat> yeah it's it's early all right i have to record these videos either early in the morning or late at night because i have i have a day job so an awesome day job too um click finish go in here source that's where all of our code files will go i'll say new class i'll call it me main class and this is where eclipse feels a little bit like visual studio like oh do you want me to put public on there for you do you want me to put package oh i could put static void main in there if you want me to Ooh, i can code for you i can help you out it's like come on either help me write the algorithm that will solve world hunger or get out of my way this drives me nuts the thing. oh you must be incapable to write your own main so we'll put it in there but after that you're on your own because coding's really hard and ha 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 whatever Oh, I wrote that in the package. I didn't mean the package. I want a blank package. 99.9% .9 of the time in Java, you won't put things in the default package. You'll have packages, kind of like a little bit like namespaces in C Sharp work a little differently. Let's not go into that. Uh, we're going to leave it empty because most of the time we're just going to write uh, algorithms in one file. It's going to be a scratch pad. We'll ha rarely have more than one file. Uh, well, not really. When we get into the deep stuff, we'll probably add more stuff. Default package, name of the class, me main class, sure. Eclipse, do whatever you want there. I don't, whatever. Click finish. And just for tickles, I'm going to control F11 this to run it. And we see we get an error. We say, hey, uh, main method not found in me main class. All right. Uh, let me put that. Oh, come on. I want this down at the bottom. Down at the bottom. So, yeah, we need a main first. So, public, static, void main string array args and put the braces in there now quiz question for you what tokens in here do i not need in c sharp but java requires right, everything i've typed up java actually requires which of these tokens meaning public class me main class these are tokens these are things i'm in highlighting individually which ones does c sharp not require yet java does require pause the video write them down whatever Come back. We have to have public on our main here. In C Sharp, we wouldn't have to have public. Uh, main is lowercase in Java. We also have to have the string array args. In C Sharp, we would not have to have the string array args. Okay, enough about that. Let's do a hello world. System.out.println. Uh, Jamie, Jamie King, actually, that sounds like a great hello world. Put your name in there because I want you to. Let's run this. Control F11. Jamie King looks good. All right, one other shortcut because you know how much I'm into shortcuts. You can also type sys out, control space, that gives you system.out.println. You can fill in the rest. Mm -hmm.